Frankie? Is this a business or a social call? That's no answer to my question. I don't know whether knifing is a business or a pleasure with you. In this case, it's a pleasure. What is it with you, mister? You gotta get every kid in the whole world in your crummy Boy Scouts. You ain't happy, huh? Frankie, do you know if you tried, you could be almost anything you wanted? Kids look up to you. You're a natural born leader. That's the scene, Daddy. Now you're making it. But you want to make like our leader. Now look, I don't want to lead your crummy Boy Scouts. Why don't you stop trying to lead my gang? Son? I ask you got a match, mister. No, I haven't got a match. I could have killed you just now. What's this all about? He wants to know what this is all about. Now. Hey, uh, good fishing tonight. You got us a live one, Frankie. People got no imagination. They do just like the law says, stop and render aid. All right. What's the deal? Just hand over your wallet. Why? I said let's have your wallet. You're gonna be disappointed. Lousy six bucks. Whatever your work is, man, it ain't making you rich. It pays as well as yours does. You only made six dollars tonight, too. <laughs> Funny. Funny. Okay, Griff, shake the car down. And don't forget the trunk this time. Nothing but junk in here. Man, get a load of this. I want that photo. You can take anything else. Oh, thanks, man. That's real big of you. <laughs> Your chick, huh? My wife. <laughs> He's got a wife. Maybe kids, too, huh? Yeah, hey, hey, maybe a mother. Oh, it makes me want to cry. I want that photo. You were making jokes a minute ago. I like you better that way. Make another joke, huh, mister? I don't make jokes about that photo. You want it? <laughs> Nothing, Frankie. Just a little old toolkit. Okay, man, you're getting off real cheap this time. Now you climb in and cut out. Here's your crummy photograph album. He's been assigned to help me, and I'm showing him the ropes. Oh, glad to know you, Chuck. Thanks. I suppose you know you've been assigned to the stubbornest man this side of Missouri. Oh, they call it determined, dedicated. Take my word, it's stubbornness. What's on your mind, Howard? I was taking a shortcut home from scout headquarters last night. I ran into a gang of kids right here, and I was decoyed and robbed. Silkers Flats, industrial district. Little kids, maybe 12 or 13. One of them seemed older, 
Boy named Frankie. He was the leader, I think. Sure, Frankie Thomas, 14. And already as tough as they come. They're reserving a cell for him up at the penitentiary, and he'll make it right on time. If you don't mind, Captain, I'd like to have Chuck look him up in the files. Well, help yourself. It's alphabetical. I know that pack of grubby little monsters. I'll have them picked up. No, don't, please. Howard, nobody's going to make Boy Scouts out of that bunch, not even you. Nevertheless, I'd like to try. After all, I have an investment in them. Investment? Six bucks and a toolkit. I don't get it. After what happened to your wife, I'd think you'd be soured on that whole breed of punks for life. Funny you should mention her. This is what those kids did to her picture last night. Why do you take it? Bob, you remember how she died? Accidentally caught in a gang fight on a street. I wanted revenge. I wanted to break every one of their little necks. But instead, I concentrated on the leader of one of those gangs. I finally got him under my wing, and he turned out pretty well. Yeah, anybody I know? You do now. That's why I have some hope for Frankie. Here's that file on the Thomas boy. Well, two arrests for vandalism, both at schools. One petty theft, arrested as a vagrant. Yeah, that was quite a while ago, though. Seems like he ran away from home for a couple of years right after his parents died. Like I said, an all-around tough kid. No soft spots. Where do they hang out? Willoughby Park. Chuck, I'm going to make a trial run alone first. All right. Stubborn. Dedicated. That's it. <laughs> hey, you guys are slipping. Junk. It's mostly junk. Now, wait a minute, Mac. There's a camera there. I seen the same kind in a store yesterday for 200 bucks. Look, we ain't in the retail business. Now, here. Here's uh, 120 bucks for all of it. Come on, Mac. That's only 20 bucks a piece for a whole week's work. You don't want it? Keep the stuff. Hello, boys. Get it in the truck. Come on. Gang around? Yeah, we're around, mister. Oh, yeah, you're the, uh, you're the head man, Frankie Thomas. How did you find out my last name? It's well known down at police headquarters. Truly. He didn't bring no cops with him. No, I'm not pressing charges. Oh, you know, you are a real nice man. But don't do many favors, huh, mister, except maybe just one slip. It's time someone did you a favor. Not much of a park you have around here, fellas. Say, guys, have you ever gone hiking or camping in the mountains. Every summer, my rich folks take me to Switzerland, and that's all mountains. I'm sick of mountains. <laughs> <laughs> What's your pitch, mister? Well, come on, man. I ask a question. I want an answer. My name is Howard Douglas. I'm a troubleshooter, a recruiter for the Boy Scouts. <laughs> oh, man, I knew you were a square. Hey, mister, rub two Boy Scouts together and make us a fire, huh? <laughs> hey, Boy Scouts, you got any unsold cookies in your car? And we know a good fence. <laughs> so you keep fooling around with that handball. You, uh, know what to do with it? Yeah, I got a real good idea. Yeah, Frankie's the best handball player in Soaker's Flats. I'm, uh, over 40. And you're about 16? Yeah, about so. How would you like to play me a game? You'd fold in two minutes. Maybe, but if I win, then the gang agrees to come over to my place for a little visit. Oh, oh come on. Just a little visit. Get lost, man. It's a lousy bet. And now, if I lose, we gotta hold still for a blast from you. But you lose in what? If I lose, you won't see me anymore. <laughs> hey, Frankie, you gotta take that bet. 
Yeah, dust him off, Frankie. Okay, Boy Scout. Now I smash you and you like get lost forever. Mm hmm. Scout's honor. Scout's honor. game, Frankie. But I'd like to work with you on your left. Yeah, well, so I was off a little. One game don't prove nothing. Well, fellas, guess I'll see you all at 3.30 tomorrow. Scout meeting hall at 9th and Morewood. Yeah, yeah, 3.30. You'll be there. Scout's honor. All right. Quarter of four. Think maybe the appointment slipped their minds? We'll see. I know the gang was curious enough, and I think that Frankie was just mad enough to come. He's been living with his aunt since that vagrancy rap. I went by there today. <laughs> she thought I was a truant officer. And did you find out anything? Oh, the truant officer bit was made to order. <laughs> We're very worried about uh, Frankie down at the Board of Education, ma'am. Do you have any idea why he doesn't attend school? And did she? Mister, he just plain hates books. Seems that every school she's put him into since she's had custody, he, he hacks up the books and they throw him out. You think maybe he doesn't like school? There are lots of things he doesn't like. But don't let it fool you, Chuck. He's a bright boy. So you know maybe those kids are hanging around outside trying to make up their minds? Let's take a look. Looks like they did come and they left a calling card. This your car, mister? It was this car. It isn't my car, Chuck. It looks like it, but I'm parked around and back. Oh, yeah? You're lucky. This one's a mess. We spotted the kids from the prowl car. Little ones, 12, 13 years old. We got them down to headquarters, cooling off. Williams, Mr. Douglas here is in charge of this bunch. Anything he wants. Thank you, Captain. guy ain't even safe in jail. You overate yourself, Frankie. You're not in jail. You're in juvenile hall, a kind of a day nursery for kids who are a little backward. You bug me, mister. Fellas, Frankie made a little mistake. That wasn't my car you hacked up. That's a lie. Frankie checked it out. He looked at the registration on your steering wheel. What would he cut up some other car for? I don't know. Maybe he can answer that. Don't listen to him. I just talked to Mr. Peterson, a man who owns a car. He decided not to press charges. So you're all free to walk out of here with me. It's a trick. What are you trying to pull? Sit down, kid. I took away your knife, remember? 
It's no trick. I just want to have the meeting you all promised to attend. All we got to do is go to this crummy meeting and we're sprung? That's all. That's a cheap price, Frankie. Yeah, Frankie, what do we got to lose? Listen, what's the matter with you guys? We'll all get out of here anyway. Well, they can't book juveniles. So we take a little jazz from the commissioner, and then they turn us over to our folks. That's true. For everyone but you, Frankie. What do you mean, everyone but me? You put in a special dirty word for me? I didn't have to. Captain Stoller tells me your record's bad enough for a real booking. Besides, you're older than the others. I'm 14. You said you were 16. You shut up! Just shut up! I'll try your meeting. Hey, uh, we hooked if we don't like it? Not at all. Let's go, fellas. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm gonna try your creepy meeting. But I still say it's a trick, and I ain't buying a word of it. As I said, our camps have a few things that Willoughby Park hasn't got. And they aren't exactly dull, either. You know, fellas, you can kid the scouts all you want. But things like that take plenty of skill and guts. Maybe even more than a street rumble. And those kids, they're having more fun than a barrel of hubcaps. And they sleep better at night, too. All right, Chuck, get the shade. Hey, Douglas, do you really do all that stuff in the Scouts? I mean, it ain't just a Hollywood movie. The Scouts are, well, they're just like your gang in a way, only legal. A bunch of kids getting together to do all the things they enjoy. Well, that don't sound too sickly. I don't guess it's no worse than a juvenile, huh? What's the matter, you guys flipped? He gets up a bunch of jazzy film and he's got you all snowed. Now, it ain't like that at all. Hey, Douglas, can I join the Girl Scouts instead? I haven't asked you to join anything. I'm not even sure the Scouts would have you. Crazy. I just want you fellows to think about it. Now, this is a Boy Scout handbook. It tells all about scouting. Just look it over, and then we'll have another meeting. Comic books. You might read it before you make up your mind. <laughs> I already made up my mind, mister. Okay, there you are, Mr. Boy Scout. Now, you can make a real groovy fire out of that for toasting marshmallows. You guys coming or not? about this handbook, but I just learned something new from it. Right to the top. Yeah, but we gotta learn to use ropes first. Remember he said, if, if we're gonna... So you all wanna be a bunch of lousy little boy scouts in short pants, huh? Man, I oughta carve you up good. The worst thing can goes along with me. We're just gonna give Douglas a tumble. You know, see what happens. You're gonna give him a tumble. Oh, man, you know something. You all belong in the boy scouts. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll come by at night and watch y'all get in tuck Betty by in your lousy little pup tents. Oh, 
Frankie. Is this a business or a social call? That's no answer to my question. I don't know whether knifing is a business or a pleasure with you. In this case, it's a pleasure. What is it with you, mister? You gotta get every kid in the whole world in your crummy Boy Scouts you ain't happy, huh? Frankie, do you know if you tried, you could be almost anything you wanted? Kids look up to you. You're a natural born leader. But you wanna make like our leader. Now look, I don't wanna lead your crummy Boy Scouts. Why don't you stop trying to lead my gang? Okay, Frankie, maybe you have something there. All right, I'll stop bothering you. What's more, I'll put it in writing. And you can show it to the gang as definite proof that you have clear title to the job. No, man, I don't need no paper. You just stay off my turf Wouldn't or so Wouldn't you like me. to be able to show the gang definite proof that you had it out with me and won? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, 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 that might be a real laugh. Now, you just write it out, huh? All right. Now, let's see. I'll just say that uh, I'll never set foot again in your territory. Okay, it's all there. You can check it out. Okay, now you stay nice and quiet. You haven't read it. Don't you want to know that it's all right? Yeah. Yeah, sure, it's, it's just great. Frankie, you can't read, can you? What are you talking about? I had to be sure. I began to suspect it when you slashed the wrong car by mistake. When you looked at the registration slip, you couldn't read it, but still you had to bluff the gang, and it looked like my car. You all right, Frankie? All right, boy, what do you do now? It's no use, Frankie. You can't run from it. You've been using this to hack and slash at everything you couldn't understand. Things that bugged you. It made a pretty miserable kid out of you. But it doesn't have to be this way. If you want things different, I want to help you make them different. How about it? You can go out this way, Frankie. But first, I want an answer. Do you want a second chance at everything you've missed? A second chance? Or are you going to keep heading for that cell that's waiting for you in the pen? Answer me! Hey, Frankie. Go on. I can see you don't want my help. You just want to be a big man with a knife among little kids. What do you know about it? Come on, what thing's different? Look, mister, don't you think I know what I am? I, I know I've always been just a, a big man around little kids. But look, when my old man and my old lady died, I was on my own. And then they pulled me back and put me in school. And then by the time I got there, all the other kids were reading already. And I was so big. And I sounded so funny when I tried. And they all laughed at me. Oh, but I showed them. Oh, man, I really showed them. I hacked up all their lousy books. There are a great many books you didn't get around to. I'll show you a better way to stop their laughing, Frankie. We've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay? Thank you. 